Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Pisa Makeover. Today I'm joined by Perseverance, guys. We'll be checking out proof that Jesus was not hung on the cross and how we accept Islam today. Wow. Oh, he said you should prove that Jesus was not hung on the cross and he will accept Islam. Oh, okay. Yeah. I understand. Oh, this is going to be interesting. I want to see the proof that Jesus was not hung on the cross. So, so further into that's Let's start. start. Christ Jesus wasn't crucified. He never died. And how can we prove this? Because this is the only thing which is actually, <clears throat> excuse me, protecting me or trying to retard my progress to become a Muslim. All my students, I'm sure some of them are here, they know of my ambition. But my aim and the truth is what I'm looking for. Because I believe a day will come I must stand by the judgment throne to actually testify or what I've done on earth. But how am I going to find that truth? Because it has been told that we, we the Christian, believe that Christ died and rose to show to the world that after death, there is life. This is the proof. But if I can just have that, hallelujah, I will turn tonight to be a but Muslim. I prove this to you. The brother said, now if he can be made certain, that this crucifixion didn't take place. He is prepared to accept Islam tonight. Let us see. Man says, I want to find the truth. But generally, they close their eyes. They say, I want to see the sun. And I don't see the sun because his eyes are closed. And he doesn't want to open the eyes. He's terrified to open the eyes. Nobody can help him. No million suns can help him to see the light if he keeps his eyes closed. But now, if he opens himself to say, let's have a look. What does the book say? The book says, Luke chapter 24, verse 36, that Jesus returns to that upper room where they had the Last Supper. The Christian knows what I'm talking about. Before his alleged crucifixion, Jesus went to that upper room in Jerusalem and with his disciples they had the Last Supper. So, after his alleged crucifixion, Jesus returns after three days. And he goes into this room and his disciples are there. Ten of them. Ten of them are there. And he wishes them in Hebrew, Shalom Aleichum. Same as Salam Aleichum in Arabic. When he said, peace be unto you, Salam Aleichum, his disciples were terrified. So, I'm asking my Christian brothers, why were, he, why were they terrified? They were affrighted because they thought he was a spirit. Am I quoting correctly? Your scripture? Yeah, yeah. Yes. So I'm asking, did he look like a spirit? Did he look like a ghost, a spook? They said no. Then I said, why should they think the man is a spirit when he didn't, didn't look like one? Christian gets puzzled. Because they say he, they thought. That he was a spirit. So I said, you see, the reason is that the disciples of Jesus, his Hawariyun, they had heard from hearsay people talking that the master, Jesus, was hanged on the cross. They had heard from hearsay people talking that he had given up the ghost. You know, the spirit had come out. He had died. They had heard from hearsay people talking that now he's dead and buried for three days. All the knowledge is from hearsay. People talking because Mark chapter 14 verse 50, he tells us that at the most critical juncture in the life of Jesus, all his disciples forsook him and fled. All. So I'm asking, does all mean all in your language, you English man? He said yes. So they were not there. All the knowledge from what they heard. So on hearsay knowledge, if you know about a man who is dead and buried for three days, you expect him to be stinking in his grave. Am I right? After three days, the man should be stinking in his grave. Such a person you see, naturally you are terrified. Because you think he's a spook, a ghost, a spirit. So Jesus wants to assure them that he's not what they are thinking. They are thinking he has come back from the dead, resurrected. So he says, Unzuru ila yadaya varijalaya. He says, behold my hands and my feet. Inni anahua. I am the same fellow man. What's wrong with you fools? Can't you see? In me, most certainly I, Anahua. Husuni, Wanzuru. Say, handle me and see. 
For a spirit has no flesh and bones, as you see me have. And they felt it. And they believed not for joy. Means they were overjoyed. And wondered, what happened man? We thought the man was dead and buried. So he says, to assure them further, that this is not what they are thinking. He says, Have you got here anything to eat? And they gave him a piece of broiled fish and a honeycomb. And he took it and he ate in the very sight to prove what? There is a ghost. He's a spook. He's a spirit. What is he proving? I'm a same fellow man. Damn fools. What are you afraid of me for? This is what he's proving to them. He's telling them that he's not what you are thinking. And yet he said, look, he is. He said, he's not a spirit. You say, he is. Amazing. Amazing sense of logic reasoning. The man is telling you, I'm not. You say, he is. Jesus says, I'm not God. I'm a servant of God. You say, no, he's God. Jesus says, I don't know about the Yom al Qiyamah. They say, no, he knows. Jesus says, I can't do everything of my own self. They say, no, he can do everything. I say, what's wrong with you people? The man is telling you, I don't know. The man is telling you, I'm the same fellow. And you say, no, he's a spirit. He says, he's not a spirit, you say, he's a spirit. I want to know whether you understand English. I don't know Ghanaian, as I told you in the Ghanaian language. Okay? A spirit has no flesh and bones. Why does he tell you a spirit has no flesh and bones? Look, it's an axiomatic truth. Everybody agrees. Whether Hindu, Jew, atheist, agnostic, spirit has no flesh and bones. So why must he tell you that? Because you are thinking that he is. He said he is not that. And he's eating broiled fish and honeycomb. Do resurrected bodies eat broiled fish and honeycomb? Do they? That when we wake up, Yomut Kiyama, everybody eating broiled fish and honeycomb? Is that what it is? So what is this? The man is telling you he is not. And you say, no, he is. I said, this is this. The Quran discussed. Jesus said, seeing they see not. Hearing they hear not. Neither do they understand. The Quran confirms that. It's a summum bukmun umyun for whom lies jawun. Deaf, dumb, and blind, they will not return to the path. If you want to see, the signs are there. This booklet is here. I don't know whether you got this crucifixion or crucifixion. Have you got this? Yes. No. <laughs> the whole thing. There isn't a Christian born. Look, brother, brother, listen. I'm, I'm offering your mighty Christian giants in America. Meeting in the Madison Square Garden at my expense. You get me Jerry Falwell, or Pat Robertson, or Billy Graham, and I will give you, 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 $10,000 present. If you can make any one of those to agree to discuss this with me in America in Madison Square Garden, I will give you as a present $10,000. Okay. And there's <laughs> what Christians itself, we Christians stand for, is that Jesus was crucified, he died on the cross, um, and he resurrected. So, according to his explanation, um, they say it was alleged after three days um, he came to meet his disciples. Uh, after the alleged crucifixion means. Um, He's not actually, they are not sure if it's true or it's, if it's lie. It's alleged. So, um, we Christians, we truly believe, me, myself, I'm using myself as an example, not physically Christians. Me, myself, I believe Jesus was died for me on the cross of Calvary and he resurrected. So, there was a disciple who um, doubted. Jesus resurrected. Doubting Thomas. Yeah, the Thomas. Then Jesus showed him his hand with the hole that was pierced in. It was it's written in the Bible. Um, I don't want to go deep into this. I'm um, reading scripture for you guys. Um, there was a lot that happened. You can't tell me the whole process of Jesus dying was all made out or with all force. It was not. So um, my Bible said Mary was presence um, the day Jesus died. Mary Magdalene was always going to the tomb to check out Jesus. So she was since she was the first lady who saw that Jesus had resurrected, then she went to go and call the disciples, 
So I don't want to go basically into Bible Deca aspect of this. I'll be reading out to you guys because it will take a very, very, very long time. So um, what's the man explain right there? Did he make his own opinion? Assumptions. His own opinion about it. He made his opinion clearly to us. And he also was relating to Quran, how it was explained to him itself, how him as a Muslim understand it. So we are, as a Christian, we understand it differently. Uh, the man who was sitting there, um, the um, African Ghanaian, who was, if you can tell me, prove to me that Jesus never died, I'm going to turn to a Muslim. To me, I feel like he really did not get the whole concept completely because he would have submitted himself the minutes the man was done with the speech. So um, I don't know who the man is, um, the black Ghanaian, if he accepted what his body language I observed right there, I feel like he was not convinced enough. So the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, it's something um, we Christians take with ultimate priority and respect. So you coming to tell me Jesus never died, uh, not giving me um, enough explanation, uh, Trinity don't accept it. According to what they say, say Quran say you you don't see, you are blind, and uh, you're deaf. I don't know. So when he was explaining right there, that Jesus was like, I was never dead, I was never. Um, that was never written in the Bible. The Bible was like they were doubting his. They were shocked. They were even really shocked by his him appearing to them. So um, I really don't go deep into this. Well, do I accept by um, I mean the explanation that Jesus never died? Truly, I don't accept it. Um, he said like an alleged story. So uh, I don't accept his explanation right there that Jesus never died. To me, Jesus died. So that's just my basic uh, honest opinion about this. And I don't want to drag this further because I'm going to take a lot of time to explain this. So what do you think about the video? I think it all comes down to your beliefs. Because Islam belief is different from Christianity. So it does not matter how many pastors who come up there to tell him, this is what the Bible says. You're still going to hold on to what you believe in, what you understand, what you've nurtured with yourself for years. So if he's talking about, he read some content out of the Bible about when Jesus uh, came to his disciples. Yeah. Why did he read about the context when Jesus was buried, when he was crucified, when he said, "Father, he, he called it alleged." Means but it was part of the Bible. And he said, "If you don't believe in it, that's yeah. why." He if didn't. you don't believe in it, then why do you believe in some part of the Bible and use it to quote your um, teaching? Because you can't just pick part to... in the crucifixion and the resurrection and say, "This is the part I want to talk about." This that, is part that, that was me. exactly what he did. Yeah. Because he didn't read during the process because when jesus died when he said father forgive them for they don't know what no, they're, they're doing. doing when he said it is finished and he died when he was brought down when he was buried when he was rated a third day the psn the psn the Venega, everything when he ascended to heaven like those parts were in the bible he didn't quote those parts he just picked out a part and explain this. He didn't literally just read it was saying like a debate he just speaking little bit and explaining it's, it's, his own content yeah, let me don't interrupt. You was oh, you were saying it's like a debate, or he wants to make his own points very clear to people, so they're going to grab. Well, okay. But this itself, it was not convincing enough. Um, he didn't actually like, tackle the main point today. Mm -hmm. Aside him saying, um, "This is me. I am here. I am flesh and blood." Jesus was proving yeah, to them like that. he has resurrected. Yeah. So that's it's not enough. <laughs> It's not enough conclusion for that, guys. It's not enough. And I know a lot of people are going to comment down below that we are blind, we don't see, we are we are deaf, we can't hear, or stuff like that. But truth be told, my Bible never said Jesus hid himself for three days and come back. Jesus died on the cross of Calvary. They explain vividly the process, how yes, Jesus died, how he was carried out, what happened, how he was beaten, how he was betrayed. How everything itself was explained. I'm, I'm pretty sure that part you see that it, it was false. That that part of the Judas is carrying betraying him. So everything was written. How he was made on the cross next to two thieves. So I don't want to prolong this, and I really don't like um, 
arguing about it. Arguing about it. It is not a debate to be arguing about Jesus. Did Jesus die? Did Jesus not die? You believe Jesus not die? Fine by yeah, you. I believe Jesus true. died because it was written in the scripture. That is the. That is. What is Christianity? Christ like. Christ like. So you tell me um, Jesus never died in the cross of Calvary. It's like I'm practicing the wrong religion. I'm doing the wrong things. Because I believe in the crucifixion of Jesus yeah. Christ. I believe in the resurrection, resurrection of Jesus Christ. So um, you come to tell me um, Jesus hid himself for three days. That's look at it's someone. Why would God it's like saying it's like saying um, according to you guys, Prophet Muhammad never existed. So how how does yeah, that? That's disrespectful. So it's it's somehow. So according to your Bible, um, according to your Quran, you you see it like that. Well. According to my Bible itself, plainly it was written there. Mm. Jesus died and resurrected. And he's dead. That was when he was his, Why did he? That was the... his one of his biggest purpose. Yeah. I know he came to like preach the word and he, well, he came to die for our sins. So that's what he did on the cross. He died and resurrected. So I don't argue about this. Um, I don't go by the car and be yeah. debating because. It's a really enough process. Okay. So guys, please let us know what you think about our reaction. Please make sure to like, subscribe and share our videos.